I remember that fateful camping trip like it was yesterday. It was a warm summer evening when my friends and I decided to venture into the depths of the dense forest. The excitement was palpable as we loaded our gear into our trusty old 4x4 and set off on our adventure. The sun was beginning its descent as we arrived at our chosen campsite. The air was thick with the scent of earth and pine, and the sounds of rustling leaves and chirping birds filled the silence. We quickly set up our tents, each of us eager to explore our surroundings before darkness fell upon us. As night approached, the once serene atmosphere began to change. The woods seemed to come alive with haunting noises that sent shivers down our spines. Our campfire crackled and flickered, casting eerie shadows on the trees that surrounded us. It was as if the forest itself was warning us to leave, but we were determined to stay. The darkness enveloped the forest, and our flashlights became our only source of light. Every rustle and snap made our hearts skip a beat, and we couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. We huddled closer to the fire, seeking solace in its warmth, hoping it would fend off the growing coldness that seemed to seep into our bones. Suddenly, a distant scream pierced the night air. It was a gut-wrenching sound that sent chills down our spines. We exchanged fearful glances, our eyes wide with terror. We knew we were not alone. Something sinister lurked in the shadows. Panic set in, and we made a hasty decision to pack up and leave. We stumbled through the darkness, our flashlights darting around, desperately searching for a way out. The once familiar path had become a labyrinth of twisted branches and overgrown bushes. Each step we took seemed to lead us deeper into the heart of the forest, further away from safety. Time seemed to stand still as we pressed on, our hearts pounding in our chests. The silence was deafening, broken only by the sound of our heavy breathing and the occasional crack of a twig beneath our feet. Fear consumed us, and the realization that we may never escape this nightmare began to sink in. As we trudged on, exhaustion and fear began to take their toll. The flickering light of our flashlights grew weaker, threatening to leave us in complete darkness. Our bodies ached, and our minds were clouded with desperation. We were lost in this labyrinth of trees, trapped in a never-ending nightmare. And then, a glimmer of hope appeared. Through the dense foliage, we spotted a faint beam of moonlight. It was a sign, a beacon guiding us towards salvation. We followed its faint glow, our tired legs pushing us forward, refusing to give up. Finally, we burst out of the forest, our bodies covered in scratches and bruises. The cool night air washed over us, providing a sense of relief we had longed for. We collapsed onto the ground, panting heavily, grateful to be free from the clutches of the unforgiving woods. Looking back now, all those years later, I still shudder at the memories of that terrifying night. The darkness, the screams, and the haunting feeling of being lost in the woods will forever be etched in my mind. It serves as a reminder of the power and unpredictability of nature, and the importance of respecting its boundaries. So, if ever you find yourself considering a camping trip deep in the heart of the forest, remember my tale. Be prepared for the unknown, stay vigilant, and never underestimate the power of the woods. For in their depths, a darkness exists that can swallow you whole, leaving nothing but a chilling memory behind. I had always loved the great outdoors, and camping was my way of escaping the chaos of everyday life. The thought of spending a few nights surrounded by nature's tranquility always brought me a sense of peace. However, little did I know that one camping trip would turn into a terrifying nightmare that would haunt me forever. It was a crisp autumn weekend when I decided to venture into the woods alone. The idea of solitude appealed to me, and I craved the serenity that only nature could provide. I packed my trusty tent, a sleeping bag, and some basic supplies, and set off eagerly into the unknown. The sun was beginning to set as I arrived at the campground. The air was still, and a sense of unease washed over me. Ignoring my instincts, I set up my campsite near a picturesque clearing, surrounded by towering trees. The eerie silence of the forest made me feel as if I were being watched, but I brushed it off as my imagination running wild. Nightfall came quickly, and I found myself engulfed in darkness. The only source of light was a small flickering lantern, casting eerie shadows on the trees around me. I nestled into my sleeping bag, 
hoping for a peaceful night's sleep. But sleep evaded me that night. Instead, I was plagued by the sensation of being watched. Every rustle of leaves and snap of twigs caused my heart to race. I tried to convince myself that it was just the sounds of nature, but deep down, I knew something was amiss. As the moon reached its peak, I noticed a faint figure lurking in the shadows. It was a person, their silhouette barely visible against the darkness. Fear gripped me, and I stayed frozen, watching their every move. They seemed to be observing me, their eyes shining with an unsettling intensity. The figure vanished as quickly as it had appeared, leaving me trembling in fear. I told myself it was just a trick of the imagination, a play of light and shadows. But as the night wore on, the figure returned closer this time. Their presence was unmistakable, and I knew I wasn't alone. Determined to confront my stalker, I mustered the courage to venture into the woods. The trees closed in around me, their gnarled branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. The darkness seemed to grow thicker, suffocating me as I pushed forward. Suddenly, a voice pierced through the silence. It was a low, menacing whisper, filled with malice. You can't escape me. It hissed. I turned, but there was no one in sight. The voice seemed to come from all directions, echoing through the vast expanse of the forest. My heart pounded in my chest as I quickened my pace, desperate to find safety. But no matter how fast I ran, the voice followed, taunting and teasing me. It seemed to know my every move, my every thought. I was trapped in a twisted game, and the stalker held all the cards. Exhausted and terrified, I stumbled upon an abandoned cabin deep within the woods. It was dilapidated, its wooden walls splintered and worn. Desperation compelled me to seek refuge within its decaying walls, hoping for a moment's respite. Inside, the air was heavy with decay and despair. The cabin creaked and groaned as if it were alive. The stalker's presence lingered, but I was too weary to care. I collapsed onto the dusty floor, my mind consumed by a mixture of fear and exhaustion. As I drifted into a fitful sleep, nightmares consumed my thoughts. Shadows danced on the walls, taking on twisted, grotesque forms. The stalker's voice reverberated through my dreams, growing louder and more deranged with every passing moment. Morning arrived, casting a pale light through the cabin's broken windows. I awoke, disoriented and disheveled, my body aching from the torment of the night before. I knew I had to escape, to find my way back to civilization and leave this nightmare behind. With trembling hands I ventured out of the cabin and into the woods once more. The air was crisp and cool, a stark contrast to the darkness that had consumed me. But I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, the lingering presence that haunted my every step. Days turned into nights, and nights into days as I stumbled through the wilderness. The stalker never left me, their presence a constant reminder of the danger that lurked in the shadows. My mind became a haze of paranoia and despair, my body growing weaker with each passing moment. Finally, on the verge of collapse, I stumbled upon a clearing. It was a familiar sight, the same clearing where I had set up camp days ago. Relief washed over me as I realized I had made it back. I was on the brink of safety. But just as I thought the nightmare was over, the stalker emerged from the shadows. Their face was hidden beneath a hood, their eyes burning with a sinister fire. They moved closer, their steps slow and deliberate. Who are you? I managed to whisper, my voice trembling with fear. The stalker's lips curled into a malevolent smile. I am your worst nightmare, they replied, their voice dripping with sadistic pleasure. In that moment, the truth became clear. The stalker was not a ghost or a legend, but a human, consumed by darkness. They had been watching me, stalking me, reveling in my fear. As they lunged towards me, I fought back with every ounce of strength I had left. A primal instinct took over, allowing me to tap into a reserve of power I never knew existed. With one final blow, I managed to escape their grasp, leaving the stalker writhing in pain. I ran, my legs carrying me as fast as they could go. The forest blurred past me, the trees merging into a sea of green. I didn't stop until I reached the safety of civilization, gasping for breath and covered in sweat. The memory of that camping trip still haunts me to this day. 
The stalker's face, twisted with malevolence, is etched into my mind. I have since sworn off camping, forever scarred by the darkness that exists within humanity. For in the depths of the woods, where shadows dance and whispers linger, there are no ghosts or legends. Only the sinister presence of those who prey on the innocent, waiting to strike when we least expect it. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping outside my tent. It was a crisp morning, the kind that invigorates the senses and makes you feel alive. I unzipped my sleeping bag and stretched, eager to start the day. Today was the day we were going to embark on a thrilling camping adventure in the deep woods. As I stepped out of the tent, I inhaled the fresh scent of pine, mixed with the earthy fragrance of damp soil. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a golden glow through the towering trees. My friends and I had chosen this remote location for our camping trip, far away from the hustle and bustle of city life. We packed our backpacks with essential supplies and set off on the hiking trail. The path meandered through dense foliage, with sunlight filtering through the leaves, creating a mesmerizing play of shadows on the forest floor. It felt like we were stepping into a different world, isolated from civilization. After a few hours of trekking, we stumbled upon a clearing. It was a small, circular space surrounded by ancient trees. In the center, we noticed a peculiar sight. A group of people, dressed in dark hooded robes, stood in a circle, their heads bowed. They seemed engrossed in some kind of ritual. Curiosity peaked. We crouched behind the bushes, careful not to make a sound. From our hidden vantage point, we silently observed their every move. The cult members moved gracefully, their movements almost hypnotic. They swayed in unison, their hands raised towards the sky. It felt eerie, as if we had stumbled upon something forbidden and secretive. As time passed, the atmosphere grew increasingly tense. The cult members began chanting in a language I couldn't understand. The sound echoed through the trees, sending shivers down my spine. The intensity of their voices made it clear that this was not a mere gathering of like-minded individuals. It was something far more sinister. Suddenly, the chanting stopped. The cult members froze, their eyes fixated on a point in the distance. I followed their gaze and my heart skipped a beat. Standing at the edge of the clearing was a figure, cloaked in darkness. It was impossible to make out any distinct features, but the aura of malevolence that emanated from it was palpable. The cult members dropped to their knees, their bodies trembling with fear. They began to recite words that sounded like pleas for mercy. The figure remained motionless, its presence dominating the clearing. A chill ran down my spine as I realized we were witnessing something beyond our comprehension. Time seemed to stand still as the figure advanced towards the cult members. Its movements were slow and deliberate, as if savoring the fear it instilled in its followers. The cult members continued to beg for mercy, their voices choked with desperation. Unable to tear our eyes away from the scene unfolding before us, my friends and I exchanged horrified glances. We knew we had stumbled upon something dangerous, something that could threaten our very lives. Fear gripped us, but curiosity pushed us to stay hidden and watch. The figure reached the center of the circle, towering over the cult members. Its presence seemed to consume everything, casting a dark shadow over the clearing. And then, without warning, the figure raised its arms and unleashed a terrifying scream that pierced through the air. The cult members collapsed, their bodies convulsing violently. Their pleas turned into screams of agony, echoing through the forest. It was a sight straight out of a nightmare, too horrifying to comprehend. My friends and I were paralyzed with terror, unable to move or make a sound. As the figure continued its assault, a realization dawned upon us. We had to escape, to run as far away as possible from this nightmarish scene. With every ounce of courage we could muster, we forced our trembling legs to move. We ran blindly, crashing through the underbrush, desperate to put as much distance as we could between us and that malevolent presence. After what felt like an eternity, we finally emerged from the woods, gasping for breath. We collapsed onto the ground, our hearts pounding in our chests. The weight of the encounter weighed heavily upon us, and we knew that we had witnessed something that could not be explained. That day, we vowed never to return to those woods again. The memory of the cult and their encounter with the figure haunted our dreams for years to come. 
It served as a reminder that there are forces in this world that are beyond our comprehension, lurking in the shadows, waiting to be discovered by unsuspecting souls like us.